Hello there to all my programmer friends. This is Dead here. Welcome to my channel. And today we are going to be doing something different here on this channel. Something I haven't done. So this is my first time doing it. So I'm going to be going over some of my favorite mods in Skyrim. Now this video, the reason why I'm in is because I did a poll on my Instagram, social media. And you all voted yes. So let's get into it. So... I'm not going to do these in particular order. I'm going to do these based off of like game and stuff wise. So here we get going. So the first one we're going to start off with. Now I do have these in my favorites. So now I have two that are like game starter ones that don't really have a huge, you know, impact on like gameplay and stuff wise, which is this one right here is called quick start, skip, new game. You know intro and scenes so basically for all of us like skyrim veterans out there you get kind of tired fly so you make your character and then you have to wait you know a long cut scene before and all that before you're actually able to get into in and what this mod basically does is that you don't have to watch the intro or you know all that stuff you can go straight into making your character and then it will propped up and ask you which one you know between Rayloff and how far I believe that's how you pronounce the name and it will spawn you into the right spot in the keep and then you'll continue as normal but you won't have to wait you know for the intro part for the dragon to swoop down and save you from the getting decapitated there's that but my f most favorite one the one that I actually like better than this one is if I can if I'm going the right yeah fast alternative start now what this does for your character too is like it's the same thing you know you build your character but instead of like starting off you know in, keep, in the keep and health and then all of that it gives you like options and stones so like for example you can choose like a stone that you normally wouldn't start off with at starting point and you doesn't require you to travel and and also to besides like activating a certain stone too you can choose right away to be a werewolf or a vampire or if you're feeling you know more creative a hybrid yes with this you can make a hybrid character of a werewolf and vampire without having to give one up or the other and you get the same effects too from vampire and stuff so you get a little best of both worlds if that is something that you are interested in but what makes it more unique is that the starting points can be different they have a stranded and helpless one they have two options where one is you start off with nothing which is good for those who want to do a rex to riches challenge right off the bat um, there's one where you have where I guess your character falls off a cliff hits their hand and wakes up and you start from there or if you want to start off in a faction without having to do you know the beginning part of it there's that you can join any of the normal factions and then you also have the ones where you st st start by you were in an inn in our tavern I mean drinking you'll know, need somewhere in one of the city halls or whatever then there's ones where you can gain property where instead of you know having to become fame of the city you automatically get the house for there but you only get one though the rest you will have to work for um, but yeah there are those and speaking of making characters and stuff before I get on to like other game and stuff wise I also have, I have almost all, the only ones they didn't have it for was for Imperial, but there are amazing race tweaks. Now, you still have the same uh, powers and same abilities, but you also gain a little bit extra, which makes the rate, adding a little bit more uniqueness to the race, and none of them are the same, which I think is good, because it makes, because um, don't get me wrong, there are some races that I barely play due to the fact that because their power really isn't all that so for an example I got the one for Rickard I got one for Orc even though Orcs are pretty awesome and I play them most of the time Brent 
even making them even better mage characters. High elves, really good. Wood elves, you know, makes me want to play it more now. Um, Khajiits, one of my other favorites, and lords and Argonians and dark elves, and you get the picture. The only ones that they didn't have before was Imperial. Now, here, st other stuff wise, for. Now, if you choose that you want to do the, you know, still going through the keep and Helgen one, even if you don't, you could always go back to, like, the spot where you enter the cave from, but I like a start or stump stash. So, basically, it, when you come out of Helgen and stuff, you'll keep going down, but there'll be a tree stump that's normally not there, and you'll go to it, and it'll have 50,000 gold, which I think it's good if you were to get a house right away off the bat. Instead of going through that huge major grind. Um, next up here, for, as far as like vampires and werewolves, there's faster werewolf and vampire lord, you know, perks, which basically means is that if you feed on an NPC or you kill an NPC like a werewolf and feed on them, because from feeding once, you can upgrade your werewolf thing. If you don't want to deal with the grind, because I think it's about 15 kills or so you have to eat for that. So there's that. Um, let me see here. Is there anything else that I want to go over? If, oh yes. Another thing too is I got all map locations discovered mod. Which basically means is that all of the lo locations that you can find... I don't think that I don't think it's counting like the anniversary, but at least you know the base game of it, which is really nice if you just want to do you know the missions without having to go off and discover like me at some points because I don't always know what they are. And so there's that. And then I'm trying to think. Oh, another one too is in, this impressive citizens AI overhaul, which. This just it doesn't do anything for you as far as like gameplay wise besides just making NPCs have like more interesting conversations. Like before you enter White Run, they will talk about Cicero, or as they call him, the gesture. And there's a few other spots too where they will talk about stuff they normally wouldn't talk about, and it makes it very a lot more interesting. That's more deaf to citizens, make it feel like they actually go out and talk to each other. And Instead of just going to their shops or whatever. So. There's that. And then there's poses, actions, musical, instruments, and stuff. One. Which. this So. What you do is that you go near the standing stones. And there are be some chest. And you can. They kind of count as like a. Action or something or your power or whatever and but basically it gives you the animation to do like what NPCs do that your character cannot normally do like for example if I want to I could sweep I can make it look like it's cooking playing an instrument you know the good old stuff now the reason why I added this into my favorites is because it makes my role playing a lot more better and the same thing with like fast alter start and stuff because it makes it where I can tell more of a story and actually do instead of me just saying, you know, he's sweeping the floors and whatever. Um, some other ones too for my favorites. Okay, we have the Ultimate Maik Flyer campaign, which basically what it does is that the usual, like me, the liar that you will find around Skyrim will be usually at the in or the tavern in white run and you can have him fall now i will say that his face is a little distorted i don't know if that's just because of ps4 because that's what i play on but yeah so there's that and there's also a merchant too now I'm trying to think of what i need to go over oh yeah and then for those who do not you know get like a huge headache of like trying to gather and try to figure out where everything is for like building your own house and stuff this free player 
home heart you know mod right here that you can see here on my screen is basically a mod where you don't need materials like in your inventory to build stuff so if you just want to build your house in peace quick and easy that is it for you i do not know if it works i don't think it works as far as like stuff for anniversary edition so you might have to get the stuff for that but besides from that you can get pretty much everything else in your house built and done so, now there's a lot there's quite a few mods that i use for my for skyrim that i like and then there's free crafting no perks materials so basically what this does is is that this allows you to craft you know normal like game weapons and stuff like that you can't do it with the anniversary stuff but it just pretty much makes it where you can pretty much build anything that you want and it's a good easy way for like a quick easy you know quick starter if you're trying to do a series without having to do that extra grind um but as you can see i do not have it on because i did find a mod that was much better and quicker than doing all that so okay i think i've gone over most all of them except for a few ones okay so skyrim tree room this is the one where if you have actually hold on before i get to that one i want to get to this one right here which is immersive one so pretty much this makes it where merchants and stuff will have better m more coins so i could sell them stuff and they will have more than enough to sell some things off and more so there's that and then i do have another one i do not know if i remember to put in my favorites because that's how i decided i was going to do my list here and I did not. Okay. So. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I need to add this. So. With that one that I just added. And equipped it to. Makes it where. If. if where it adds a little bit more realism. Into t cities. And towns like for example if you go to you know the piles of wood not the tree that you cut from but you know like the pile of logs you can search them which i think adds a little bit more realism and stuff to the game you can find your entryways to cities that are completely walled that you have to get into the city which i think are good if you're trying to escape certain cities especially if you're trying to do like a um escape from jail or something like that type of thing um now with skyrim cheat thing and also it also makes it where every town has alchemy and you know stuff to smell iron which i think in my personal opinion i think that's what every city needs instead of having to constantly run to white run or something like that for it um uh, also another thing to that I use is Skyrim Cheat Room, which pretty much gives you everything as far as like base game, I think, special edition too. But I don't think there's anything in anniversary that it gives you, but it pretty much gives you like all the standard stuff and enchantments and whatever else that you could possibly need to start off with. And, you know, it's a good room if you want to level up, you know, quickly and stones you can make staffs and whatever else now with this next mod that i'm going to talk about you kind of need actually here for more kills and more like action and stuff there's more kill well i'm trying to think if it to add the ultimate kills where pretty much makes it where you have kind of more unique things where like if you were a person who likes to wants to watch your hero or whatever slice off the heads of evil and kill dragons in a more unique cooler way too there you go so there's that for you and then 
But for this one, for this next cheat here, you're going to need this mod right here, because I did the Qua Smoke entrance, which is right in air White Run. No, yeah, White Run. It's going to be on the right, right as you enter. And it'll be the same hatch type of look for when you go to Riverwood for the regular cheat room. But if you are wanting to see all the stuff in Anniversary Edition, you get this one too. Now, I will say this. If you do have Anniversary Edition, but for some reason this is saying that you know the files or whatever won't do, I did find out an easy method to fix this problem. You go to create yeah creation you know whatever and you want to push download everything even if you own everything in it because what the problem is is that everything that was in anniversary edition got wiped from your game so you're pretty much playing on either special or regular skyrim depending about what skyrim game you're playing as so that might be an easy fix because I know that after I did that and after everything got downloaded and everything, it allowed me to put this in. So that's if you know you want to see all of the new stuff without going through that huge major grind. And it's very easy. Um, let me make sure that's all here. So I so think I pretty much went over everything. Like I said, you can do the you know, higher kills and capitation some more. And yeah, that's about it. I hope, hope I didn't waste any of your guys' time. I appreciate those who have watched this video and showed the support and love. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.